Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to scrap these three uh, credit card slash debit card machines. Um, starting from the left to the right. Um, I found all of these at a um, local business. Um, they were tossing these out. They were going to sell these because it was a thrift shop. Um, this one I also found at a different business. This one was at a um, art, I guess, yeah, like an art, not an art museum, but um, somewhere that restores paintings. So, in this video, I'll show you how to scrap them. So, let's start off with the um, Ordinary 3750. This one is still fairly popular, you can find. It's a Veriphone. And so, the first thing you want to do is just undo all the screws that you can spot. In this case, the only one here would be on the back this unit. So this should reveal a door and open up something. Let's take a look. And it's a good idea to have a little um, container. In this case it's a real um, basic one. I just cut a water bottle. It's not a nice place to hold all the screws. So, using my trusty little um, flathead. Inside there's nothing in here. Uh, but there is a connector that you can see in there. I don't know what that connects to, but anyway, this is some plastic. And by the way, these were all in pretty poor condition when I got them. They all have, um, plus they were broken into as well. So I don't know what's up with that. But see, there's a warranty void it is broken. So we're going to go up to the front, the top here. There is one screw. That holds this card in place. Or well, I think it's a card. It looks like it could work as one. And let's see. Okay, there we go. Well, that's cool. So it's a little um, card here. So. Looks like nothing was broken into. I guess someone was just curious as to who was inside of it. Uh, to avoid the warranty. So, as you know, it's a nice gold-plated board. I'm going to go ahead and remove this screw and take a closer look. Alright. So this should peel back. And this should come right out. So, it looks like there was a piece of steel. Um, you don't need to worry about anything on it as long as it's just mainly steel. I'm just going to pop off this piece of plastic though. This is pretty easy to remove. So you go a piece of steel. And I've got us a nice card here. Looks like there's even an attachment to this. So it looks like some kind of, I guess, processor attachment. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, so it's like a, there's a little daughter board on it. There we go. So it looks like we got ourselves a um, transformer there. A couple of chips, some nice ones. There's a there's our CPU right there. Um, it's a Connect 1. I'm not so sure what it is. It looks like it's a LAN card. So, you know, there's going to be some nice gold in that. Um there's as well a couple of monolithic ceramic capacitors scattered throughout that board and as well as this board itself. So on the back here that we originally saw, there's a chip there. It's a crystal LIN chip um, that should have some nice gold bonding wires in it as well as a very, very small um, piece of RAM flash memory as well as a nice little crystal oscillator um, that will contain some nice gold in it as well gold sided piece so you know that will be nice we also got three front connectors that will have gold the second one to the right that one will um, not have anything in it so don't worry about desoldering that or removing it if you are into processing boards here we got ourselves some IDE pins however they're not gold plated see there's no shiny gold in it so that board you, know, you don't need to worry about removing those pins um, but other than that, that's pretty much all there is. On this one, however, um, 
it's just the same. So it looks like two pin sockets will should have some gold in it because um, you know, those are pin sockets and they're not like low grade boards. Because on the back here, we got some nice chunky MLCCs, um, as well as a lot of capacitors to remove. And there's a tiny little chip there, and that's about it. So, so far, doing pretty good. So, here, there appears to be two more chips, I mean, two more screws, that is, that hold this in place. Go ahead and pause this and I'll come back when we're done. Alright, so we'll go ahead and see what's inside this. This looks like it's not going to come out, but there's fortunately some tabs. Someone's definitely gone in here. Okay, so this back panel is some plastic. Off to the recycling center. And it's kind of complicated here. Um, so... Anyway, where to begin? So I'm going to go ahead and remove those two screws at the top. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I'll have to pause the video. Anyway, so um, I went ahead and just removed that screw. And um, looks like the whole thing actually comes out. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull up on this little um, connector same on the other and there's one more there so now this piece is removed we'll take a closer look at this in a minute so now the top part since I removed those two pieces this comes off real easily okay so Looks like there's a tiny little piece of steel. I may do that later, but it's not worth taking it apart on camera. And so looks like we got ourselves a nice thermal printing head. There's a little piece of ceramic and there's some little bit of gold. So we'll take a close look at that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and there shouldn't be any screws holding it in place. I should be able to just pop this off. That's not going to work. There we go. Nice. So, you can barely see there's a little bit of gold there. Just see if I can try to break this open. Okay, so it looks like I'll have to pause this as well. Okay, so um, I popped off some gears and there is a gear cover. So I'm just removing two screws. Already removed one of them. And it looks like that's a nice little motor. Tear off that um, rubber and that. Uh, piece of wire, and it looks like there's a little flat flex cable. Put that in with the screws. And it looks like we got this a nice motor. So now, about this piece, it looks like we can just pull this off. And there we got some wire. Alright, there we go, so, now it should be kind of obvious there's some gold there, um, I just popped off the cover of this, um, there's going to be a little spring in there which you can put in your steel as well, but the rest of that's plastic, as well as a couple of pieces of metal, as well as the metal behind it, um, this board really doesn't have anything on it, except a little sensor which has nothing, so, pretty much, that's all for that area. And of course we got our reader bar here. This reader bar will not really have any kind of value whatsoever. There's no kind of gold in it. So there's a piece of steel. 
and our various SSR reader. This could be useful for some projects. Um, so some people may want to keep this. Um, for me, it's really just garbage. I may keep one for a project in the future, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty much just wire and piece of steel. And we got just a piece of plastic. And so on the touchpad here, um, that's all nice, some nice gold plating there. That's definitely um, good for your uh, gold recovery. And we have our backlight display, which, as you can see, has two little prongs. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this. Got ourselves some lights as well. So these lights, it's a very, very thin gold plating on it, but it's just the same as with any kind of alarm clock, like digital alarm clock, but have a flat display. Um, they'll pretty much have the same element. And each one of those is an LED, and there's a very, very small gold bonding wire um, attached to a little um, light two terminals that um, the bonding wire creates a connection which causes each of those cells to light up. And this is comparable to a seven segment display here. Um, this came out of a one of the previous videos that I um, took apart, a clock radio. It's basically the same concept. So definitely save this for your um, gold recovery, if you so desire. Otherwise, it's I don't really know what you could do with it. Probably just some junk. So I'll put that in with my other circuit board. So we got ourselves a LCD screen. This screen can easily be popped out. And you can try to sell this um, screen on eBay. I really doubt it would sell, but it's always worth a chance. But if not, there's a, some nice gold play and saves this piece for some indium. Um, because those screens have indium in it. So now flipping this over, this whole board should come right out. Put these to the side. And then pull that to the side as well. Looks like there's a piece of wire that connects those together. Looks like the ends do not have any gold, so put this in with your wire. Don't need to snip. Looks like there's some kind of connector here. Looks like I'll just go ahead and snip that off. And this is a nice front. This is a nice board on the this other side here had some nice buttons, some nice chips, and a lot of MLCCs. But on this other side, it's very, very chip uh, populated. You can see there's a whole bunch of chips there, um, as well as some um, nice gold bonding wire BGA type ICs. Um, and on the top here, we got ourselves a nice chip there, um, some stuff like modem like components as well as a battery which um, before you sell the board or process it you want to uh, pop that off it's very simple just snip one end and then snip the other end and you can put this in with your um, batteries lithium batteries because it's basically just a lithium metal battery. Um, here, there's another board here that was connected, um, that was hidden underneath. And this board here has some nice gold plating on it. Not much, not much in components, but there's a definitely a nice board, easy to depopulate. Just remove that piece of... Um, actually, this entire thing is surrounded with silver mylar. That's pretty nice. And you can see right there, there's a nice chip. So yeah, there's some nice silver mylar, nice chip, and nice gold board to uh, process. Pretty empty on the back, nothing. So this would be a low-grade board if you were just to sell it the way it is.
And we got another board here. This one was for the smart card reader. Just like the smart cards you find in um, like the chips. Like some of those chip cards that you buy, get nowadays um, from your bank. Yeah, it would go right into the slot and read the um, and encrypt it. So, yeah. Here we got ourselves some chips there, a nice crystal oscillator, some nice tantalum capacitors. And um, on the other side, nice gold connector, another gold connector, and chip there. So, that's pretty much what's on that board. And then, we got ourselves some nice gold connectors. There's a um, little ferrite bead. I can go with your steel. And we got ourselves um, some gold plating inside here. And, yeah, that's about it for that um, particular unit. So now I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and I'm going to make three parts of this. So yeah, and I'll just put it back together so it's one seamless video. So yeah, I'll see you then in part two.